Oops. Hello, hello, hello. If you're on the replay, you are going to catch up and get you in the loop. You start tapping on hearts. Thanks for coming and joining me. I'm going to start piling in. This is the spotlight. Hence the spotlight. There we go. Very newbie spotlight session. This is the, the spotlight hour. And we're going to be doing some stuff. And I'm going to be using my acronym, CROWS. I'll get to that in a minute. So, joining me. Let's put the tripod back over here. There we go. Better lighting. So I'm not one sided. Hi, thanks for coming in. Welcome. This is the Perry Newbies Group's Spotlight Hour US version. Although it's going to be a mix of people from the England and US. We, isn't it? we have a UK um, Spotlight Hour and a US one, and we cross over and do different ones, so it's fun. Um, if you're just joining in, thanks for joining me. If you're not part of the group, we'll put up the links shortly to get to Perry Newbies Group. We are a group of people and people who are learning to use Scope with a few mentors sprinkled in between. Mentos, no, mentors, that's the one we're using it for. So if you're just coming for the first time, please more you swipe right on the phone, swipe down on the droid and tap on follow. Thanks for joining me. This is an interesting journey since Mary Joy, when you started this today, um, I felt you so strongly because I felt how deeply you care about this group and how one person's upset took you off track and I feel for you. So I know how it feels and it's not fun and this is your baby and I want to be helping with that baby. It's why I'm going to do my scope on focus. So I feel you. If you want to talk offline, I'll happily support you. I'm on the same page as you. And yes, as much as I want to make money do my work, I'm here to help and support and serve. And that's why I'm doing this one, which is why my theme is crows. Because <laughs> um, I was thinking I need an acronym that will work. So um, again, please, if you're here for the first time, what we do in this group is we basically invite our followers, from share on Twitter, invite share on Periscope, and tap the screen for hearts. Um, it's a way of just sharing the love back and forward. And if you want to find out more about Periscope, um, someone will put up the link to Perry Newbies. Hey, Bryn, thanks for trying to do that English accent that really threw me, entertained me. I like that. Having Americans do English accents really mess it, you know. Okay, excuse me, whoever that is, you are going to be out of here. Um, yeah, blocking those people really is annoying. Okay, great job, Bryn. That was fun. And seeing you just stretch and getting out there, because you're, you're a pro at this anyway. Just you haven't used Periscope before, so it's a new platform, but it was really good. So nice to have you here. Um, so getting to the subject in hand, because I've got is seven minutes, eight minutes to go through really fast. Whoops, let's do that. That's better, more equal. Um, so my, my theme, as I said before, is going to be called Crows. And I'm keeping the other hidden so I can read it myself. The first one is connection. If you're, if you're feeling like you don't want to do it, to do Periscope, connect two ways. One is connect into yourself. If you're using Periscope, it's likely you have a desire to share something, to make something happen, to give something of yourself, whether it's teaching, connection, music, creativity, something like that. Connect to that first, because that's more important than your voice going, no, 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 I don't want to do it. That's one part. Second part is, as Bryn shared in the last scope, sorry, vitamin B shot, shared in the last scope, people out there want to hear your message. Whether it is woodworking or guitar playing or making lasagna, whatever that is, somebody out there wants to find you. So it's important for them as it is for you. So in some ways, you need to scope to serve somebody. Hence what we do in the Perry Newbies group. We're here to serve. As a reminder, anybody's wondering about why we do this. That's the first one, which is C for connection. The second one is the reason. This is why do you do it? Because if there's a fear in doing scope, it may be because you're scared of what might happen, who might interact, if you're going to get trolls or other things. But find out what your why is. What's the reason you want to do the scope? And for me, my reasons why I do my scope is I want to share my knowledge, my teaching, my love, my caring with an audience, which I can do with my friends, but on Periscope, it's a wonderful thing to do. So I'm a big fan of that, making your message land. So I say you have a reason why you're doing it. Otherwise, there's no point in scoping. But if you're thinking about scoping and you're getting afraid of it, there's a reason why you want to do it. And that's the reason, the why, that you must follow through. Okay? So that's the second one. That's the R for crows. So again, I'm using an acronym for just joining me of crows, and I'm going through the letters. First one was, was connection. Connecting with your own self, feeling of value, and connecting to the audience who wants to hear from you. And the reason why you're driven to do it as well, follow that. The third one is O. O as in own it. Own your voice. Own your uniqueness. Own your gifts. You deserve to have an audience. You deserve to share your message. You deserve to be seen. Periscope is the platform that works for us. Good one, it's free, which is always cool. You got paid to do that. Two, it's a more discreet form of sharing because you're not facing people's faces out in the audience in front of a thousand people. There might be, you know, less eighteen people online right now. But they're not in front of me, so it may not be as fearful for you. So owning yourself and being present on Periscope rocks. Powerful T, powerful key. Uh, fourth one is what. And basically it's what's up. As in, 
What is going on in the first place? What is it you're thinking about? What's driving you? What's inspiring you to do it in the first place? So you want to share about so to read that. You want to share about your direct marketing business. Exactly. See, just so you know, as as a side caveat, um, I do two scopes a day normally. Besides this, which are my own personal ones. One is about love and relationships. Cause that's my business. And one's actually Perry Tips because I happen to be doing this for about three or four weeks, five weeks now on my own. And then found Perry Newbies to share it within the group because I love getting people inspired to use Periscope. So I want to show them all the things that they can get out of the way to make it easier. That's what's up for me. So it's important to do that. The f so that's, that's Crow so far. The S on the end is support. Two ways again for support. One is how can you be of support to other people? See, I look at, re look at the resource, not out there to go and be fans and like, okay, buy my stuff, you're going to be following me. No. Who out there wants my support? My favorite scopes I've done over the last three months have been the ones where somebody said, thank you, I got value. That is so transformative. How many topics are too many? I'm thinking of three topics I'm interested in. You mean to teach, to speak on Periscope? Here's my thought. I call my, my separate scopes channels. I have a love chat, I have my love scope channel, and my peri tips channel. If you have three, three channels, one's knitting, one's um, time management, one is uh, lovemaking, I'm just throwing three out there, then you can make them separate channels and label them that way. So it's important for you to, the thing is make them distinct. So make sure your titles are distinct. I actually use hashtags love scope and peri tips for my two scopes to keep them distinct so people know which ones they're looking for. It's just a way of doing it. Um, back to the support one. First of all, my favorite thing about doing about Periscope is when people say thank you, they got value from what I shared. That fulfills me more than anything else does. Yes, it'd be nice to make money, but truthfully, leaving an, a positive impact in somebody's life, that's worth every single moment on Periscope I have. That simple. So I love that about Periscope. The second part is, as a Periscope, as Mary Joy, as Mary Joy, Mary Joy, Mary Joy said, had the wrong teeth in for a second, on the first part of the share -thon, as she was sharing her hurt and her upset for what happened, I felt that as a viewer, I could offer her support by putting in hearts, by making comments and telling her that. And that's one of the things that Periscope's great for. You can reach out. I've seen people, there's actually somebody I know, um, I'm trying to remember her name. Uh, Babylene Brooke is her is her, her profile. She got, had a car accident, she has some neck surgery and she's almost immobilized. She's doing crowdfunding through Periscope to get her surgery taken care of. Genius. Why not? So, so Periscope's an avenue for very authentic connection. Again, back to the beginning and also for support at the end. So back to the beginning before we run out of time. CROWS is the acronym, which is having connection to your audience, connection to your message, a reason why you're doing this. Owning it is what is up, what is it you're talking about, like your, your value and mission, your purpose, you deserve to be here. What's up? What's the reason you want to talk about? What's it you want to share? What do you want to teach? And support, be able to give it and to receive it. That's my very professional slide. <laughs> and that's the thing about Periscope. It doesn't have to be slick. Yes, I do teach things on Periscope about getting a tripod, getting lighting and sound, but really those are secondary. As long as you can be heard, be seen, and be valuable, that's what it counts. Personally, yes, there are now. Okay, one pet peeve. I have to show. I have to throw this one in there. I love Periscope because what's possible. I've done my Peri Visionary scopes last week about what I think is going to happen in Periscope. The second thing, though, with Periscope is some people use it for fandom. And I'm going to be for this, perinubies.com. That's the link right there. Mary Jo just put it up. And there's the bit.ly underneath it. That's the links to find out more about the Perinubies group. Come and join us. There's 420 people in that group now because people want to learn how to use Periscope. And we help them. That's why I'm one of the mentors. It's fun to do. But if you're here just to, just to be an entertainment to yourself, I won't be watching you. You can do it. You may have thousands of followers, but I'm not interested. Personally, and this is a personal bias, not the rule of Periscope. It's me personally saying this. I believe Periscope is an avenue for sharing value. And that's what I care about. What's considered a newbie? Um, a newbie is somebody who hasn't used Periscope before. The, the statistics are this. 10, 15 million people have downloaded Periscope, of which maybe two thirds have opened it. Of that, 1% or less are actually scoping. That means about 100,000 people, maybe 150,000 people, are broadcasting on Periscope. Do you know a few many people on that is on the planet? So if you're one of the people that hasn't scoped yet, our groups to really encourage, support you with our models and examples and with tips we give you so you can try it yourself. You get jump in and you just do it. As Bryn said, you're just standing, sitting in front of a phone, there's nobody else looking at you. Yes, there's comments, but it's a safer way to get out in the audience and, and develop a following. Why not? It's a chance to explore, experiment. Exactly, we are, we, if you haven't got to yet, we are asked, so there's support. I have, um, not for the pay month, I'm not sure what that was. Um, I've, just so you know, I broke my, I did my 100th scope on Saturday. I'm now about 107 scopes in. 
and I'm still learning. And my first few are very, are very clunky, and gratefully was they weren't saved. So I've done a lot of scopes because I love doing this, and I'm learning, and I love helping other people. I do help people do it. If you're interested, I can do it personally, but frankly, get in the group. There's about 12, 13, 14 mentors in that group, and we really love helping you get better on Periscope. That's my passion, my joy, my mission. Um, I'm, uh, time's up, I think, so Ray's next after me, I believe. So Ray, if you're on here, please put up your some emojis so you can be seen, they can follow you. Um, the group's perrynewbies.com is the link, I think it is. Is that what it was? Someone can put up the link again so you can find it. Who's that? Renee. Yes, Renee, we can help you. Um, you're in the group, good. Yeah, Ray, Ray throws some emojis, and if somebody's got the link again, they put up the link for the Perry Newbies group. That's Ray right there. And the, the Perry Newbies there is pretty new. PerryNewbies.com. Thank you, Mary Joy. And there's the bit.ly link underneath there. I love this group. See how supportive we are of each other? Because <laughs> I can't type on my own screen, but you can. So Ray, um, go skate, set up if you want. You're up, the next, you're up next. And when he goes up, because one thing about Periscope is when you're broadcasting, you can't see other people scoping. So when he goes set up, please someone just let me know it's time for me to sign off, and then I can go watch him with you. See, we, we, <laughs> we're about helps and tips and keys and stuff. Periscope rocks. And if you want to find out more about what I think Periscope is due for, go look at my scopes from last week. Um, by the way, go go look at this, catch.me slash Barry Silby. That's where mine are archived. I have a Periscope I did last week about what I believe the future of Periscope is. That will give you an idea of my passion. So you want to find out about Periscope, go look up on here. It's sometime around Tuesday, Wednesday last week. I think it was. I did this scope about my, the future of Periscope. It was so, so um, impassioned. <laughs> Because I, what I know what's coming. I can feel it. Now, I don't know here. I just know it here. Periscope's going to change the world. So get in with us and have fun. Because you can be one of the people changing the planet. <laughs> and follow me. But if you're not already doing so, please swipe right on the iPhone. Swipe down the joint. Tap on follow. So you follow my scopes daily. I do two to four scopes a day now. So if you want to find out more. It's on? He's, oh, he's live now. Okay, great. Thanks for watching me again. If you're not following, please swipe on the phone, tap follow so you see my future scopes. Let's now go see Ray do his. I'll see you later. Have fun.